Hi everyone, this is Alex with My Creative Room. I am here today in my creative room in my sewing studio to talk to you about one of my favorite Love Notions patterns. It is a dress pattern that is a, a perfect transition piece from summer to fall. So it is a staple that you need to have in your wardrobe. I am referring to the Willow Wrap Dress. If you know me from uh, Facebook and from the sewing groups on Facebook, you know that I am a huge, huge fan of dresses. 99% of my wardrobe is dresses. I wear them spring, I wear them summer, I wear them winter, well, Florida winter, so all year long. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this pattern because it's an amazing transition piece throughout the year. So the, the Willow dress pattern has um, gotten a little face slip, a little update a few months back. So it is now um, covering a huge variety of, of sizes. It starts at uh, extra small and goes all the way to 5X. When you choose your, your um, pattern uh, size for this particular pattern, you're looking at high bust. So this is covering uh, high bust from 31 inches to all the way up to 55 inches. So incredibly size inclusive. It's one of the, my favorite things about Love Notion patterns. Even in the older patterns that went only to 2 or 3x, they're all getting slowly a facelift and updating them. So Tammy is right there making sure that everyone feels welcome and included when sewing uh, Love Notion patterns. The dress pattern, the willow dress pattern has two styles. If you're not a fan of dresses, you can still trick yourself to a willow and you can make a peplum dress, a peplum option. So uh, the dress has a knee length style. So it's, it hits you in the right, right at the perfect spot. It's not too long, it's not too short. It's appropriate for all occasions and um, it also comes, like I said, with a peplum option, which means it's perfect for wearing with leggings or with jeans or shorts in the summertime. So a huge variety of options. And of course, we all know, once you give us a pattern, if it has a cut line for peplum and a cut line for, um, for dress, we all know that we can go anywhere in between just by adding uh, an extra line by ourselves. But if you're not comfortable yet to hacking patterns, just know that this pattern includes two uh, different lengths. It also includes two different um, coverage options for the bust area. It's a um, wrap dress, which means there's two pieces on the front. The front is not cut on fold, there are two pieces that overlap. Now, uh, with wrap dresses, one of the most common problem that uh, we see, especially for um, people with a larger bust, such as myself, is uh, a gapping and an unpleasant um, look, let's say, cleavage uh, when you don't want it. There's obviously times when you do want that style, but uh, Tammy has found the perfect solution with these patterns. So this is definitely a pattern for everyone, whether you like a more modest cleavage or um, lower cut cleavage, Tammy included two options. One is a higher neck, like the one I'm wearing here. This is a higher neckline and um, that definitely gives you enough coverage and comfort look. You can bend, you can, you're fine. There's not going to be any showing of any parts you don't want to be shown while wearing your willow wrap dress. The other option included in the pattern as far as um, bust is, um, is um, concerned, there is an option for a lower cut with, if you want to go up more of a sexy route. There's also two options for the side. One is like the one I'm wearing right now where the two sides are exactly the same, two mirror images. There's also another option that's very, very cute, where you can pleat one of the sides or you can um, uh, gather one of the sides. So it, ha it will have kind of a ruching on one of the sides and uh, it would look really cute. Like on the outer part, it will have a ruching where the 
part of the front that goes on the inside will be flat so this way there's no puckering under the dress it's extremely well drafted it's an amazing pattern that i absolutely love i am wearing it right now so in case i haven't mentioned that before this is one of my uh old willow dresses this is before it got the little facelift so uh i still wear it to this day and i absolutely love it so not only the pattern comes with a modest front or a nursing friendly front but it also includes um maternity option and that is in the pattern there's no guessing games involved you just follow the pattern with the maternity option and boom you are happy uh, with your new uh, willow wrap that can show off your precious bum one thing that i wanted to touch base on regarding the actual pattern and the actual format of the pattern as with uh, most love notion patterns you will have an a4 format which is the one used pretty much anywhere outside of the united states you have a letter format which is uh, used in the united states it prints on letter size paper eight and a half by eleven i think you also have an a0 which is called the coffee shop format which is one that you most of us send to uh, printers either online or you take it to staples or anywhere they can print copy shop format which are a yard wide um, i believe a roll of paper for the copy shop is 36 by 24 i'm not sure but it's about a yard so it's a huge paper which means there will be no paper no um taping and print and cutting and um putting patterns together that's the copy shop um, option of course if you're lucky enough to have a plotter at home you can print copy shop papers at home but that for that you need one of those long huge printers they're called a plotter now not a lot of us do my favorite my favorite favorite option included in this pattern is the projector pa option Tammy has started to include projector files with her older patterns and the newer ones, of course. Oh, and they're amazing, amazing. If you're not into projection for sewing yet, you need to give it a try. Obviously, when the timing is right for you, but I'm telling you, it's amazing. I've exclusively been sewing with projectors uh, as long as the files uh, give me the option. and. Honestly, shh, between you and I, I'm kind of just selecting patterns where I know there's a projector file lately because I've gotten out of the habit of printing patterns, you know? So it's easy to just set up your projector. Mine is right there. Set up your projector, just project the images on your paper and on your uh, cutting uh, fabric, on your cutting mat and then on the fabric cut cut no papers no ink no trash very eco-friendly so amazing it is included in the willow dress pattern so that's how actually i did a willow just last week i, I made myself a willow that i will mention in a little bit so uh, everything is covered letter a4 um, projection projector file and uh, copy shop a0 file Another thing about um, the willow dress pattern and all of uh, Love Notion patterns that I love, absolutely love, is when you're reading the tutorial, let's say, oh, I know how to add the sleeves. I don't wanna go through the sleeve, to reading the sleeves. You don't have to go searching, oh, where's my next step? Oh, where it is on the pattern. There's active touch tabs on the actual pattern. So you just click on it and it, it takes you in the PDF file just in the spot that you want just by clicking a tab it's fantastic it's an interactive tab and i use it all the time let's talk fabrics so fabrics for the willow dress are there's a pretty wide variety accepted that will work with this with this um with this pattern it is drafted for neat patterns. So wovens, no, wovens will not work for this. Don't even think about adding a zipper and all that. No, there's negative ease at the bust, 
there's negative is at the waist and there's negative is at the sleeves so even if you add a zipper to make it woven it will just explode on your arms and your bust so even if you're able to put it on you won't be able to walk so just forget about woven no no wovens for this neat fabrics but for neat fabrics you have a wide range that you could use for um, the willow wrap it's if it's drafted for medium size like cotton lycra you can use uh, double brush poly which is actually what I'm using right now for my pattern for my willow it's an, a double brush poly um, dress you can also use Ponty, if you like a more structured look, uh, stable knit, Ponty will work great. My favorite one, maybe not the heaviest, but definitely my favorite fabric out of every fabric available is Bamboo Lycra. And I have made a willow in Bamboo Lycra just the other day and it feels and wears amazing. I, I promise you, if you have not tried Bamboo Lycra, you have to. You have to treat yourself at least once because I'm, I promise you, you won't go back from, from that. It's nice and covers you in a cooling fabric, so it's perfect for summer months, but it also transitions well to uh, colder months because you can definitely layer it very, very easily. So keep that in mind as well for um, for um, fabric options for your uh, willow wrap dress. You could also uh, use a thicker sweater knit, jersey, uh, any kind of jersey you, you enjoy. As long as it has a 25 to 50 percent stretch, you are good to go. Perfect for your willow wrap dress. Let's talk fun little details and extras with the willow wrap dress. One of my favorite things that uh, has made an appearance with the new updated Willow Wrap is the fact that it includes a very cute little flounce on the neckline. It's not big, it's not overpowering, it's just wide enough to add a little something to your neckline or to show off a little pop of color. Let's say you're making it all black and you want a little pop of color, that flounce would be perfect for it. It is the cutest little detail that makes a huge impact, um, in my opinion. Another thing I wanted to mention is that the new updated Willow Wrap dress, it includes also a flutter sleeve, which is very fun and whimsical. It makes it a very uh, boho, very comfortable uh, style sleeve. I haven't made one yet with the flutter, uh, sleeve, but I definitely have it on my to-do list. As far as extras are concerned, I do want to mention that um, if you go on the Love Notion website, everything will be linked as always in the comments below and in the description of the video. If you go to the Love Notion website and you search Willow Wrap, you'll also be uh, shown two very, very nice blogs about the willow wrap one is um, with a hack to the skirt so instead of using the a line a line skirt that is included in the pattern uh, we love notion has a hack on how to do a handkerchief skirt which is super super cute it's um, the skirt that has like the four corners it's very nice so give it a look maybe that would work for a style that a fabric that you have in your stash that you never knew what to do with it Maybe that's what you will learn. Maybe that's the style that the fabric is waiting for. And another hack that's available on the Love Notion blog for the Willow Wrap dress is this hack that I, I made with a collar. There is no collar included in the pattern, but I give you the measurements and how easy it is to add this cute, fun accent to, um, to your dresses. I'm a huge, huge lover of wrap dresses, whether they're real wrap or faux wrap like this one, which between you and I, faux wrap saves you a lot of fabric <laughs> versus a real wrap dress. When I used to co work in corporate <laughs> a while back, I used to live in wrap dresses. Like that's all I wore to the office every, every day. 
and some of my favorite wrap dresses had a collar so when I was given the opportunity to do a guest blog on Love Notions website years ago I think it was maybe 2016 when I did this blog uh, I knew right away this is what I want to do I want to add a collar to the wrap dress so it uh, mimics the dresses that I used to live in years ago. Oh my lord, it's been a long time since I worked in a corporate environment. Definitely check out the Love Notion blog once you purchase your Willow Wrap dress. And uh, if you have purchased the dress before and somehow you did not know about the update, all you have to do is go back to your account, to your downloads, Click download and you will get the newest updated version. It's been a while since it's been updated, but I don't know if everyone has uh, heard about it, so I figured it doesn't hurt to mention it. There is an equivalent for uh, girls of the Willow dress, and that is called the Mallory dress. It's not identical construction-wise to the women option. Obviously, there's a few options that uh, are not included like the maternity option there's no need for a little girl so but that one has an extra um, option that uh, is with a hood you can uh, you put a hood through on the neckline very very cute so uh, while this uh, pattern review focuses on the willow wrap dress for women keep in mind that if you want a matching um, mommy and me or a matching dress with a little one or coordinating, not necessarily matching. Uh, you can um, use the Mallory dress. I wanted to not only review the Willow Wrap dress pattern for you today, but I also wanted to give you one quick little, little hack that you can uh, apply to give it yet an extra option. So if you've never done the willow before, you will see in the pattern that the neckline is created with um, a binding that goes under on the inside of your um, neckline. So you don't see the binding. So my tip for today is go wild, <laughs> go crazy and uh, make it an accent. Why not make that bias uh, binding a little extra accent. It does apply this uh, trick to uh, the option without the flounce. So if you don't want to add the flounce but you want a little pop of color on the neckline, you can definitely do what I'm about to show you right now. So I have cut a miniature, miniature um, piece of fabric to mimic the willow. It's um, it's just a one side, but you'll be following the pattern as instructed, sewing the neck, um, the shoulder seam, and then you'll be so, uh, you'll be adding the binding. So cut the same binding as instructed in the pattern. No changes whatsoever. Press one of the sides as instructed, and then simply uh, instead. Of uh, laying so the pattern instructs you to put your binding right sides together with the fabric like so so instead of doing that we're going to do the opposite so instead of placing it wrong side the right sides together like this I'm going to go ahead and place it right side of the binding to the wrong side of the fabric no changes in measurements or anything. I'm going to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance on my serger. Just as you would have done it if you did as per the pattern. So this is the right side of the fabric right now. So all you have to do is flip your fabric to the wrong side and sew it in place like so I did exaggerate my measurements just so it's easier to see on camera but this is pretty much it you're going to top stitch on this side So 
now you're top stitching on the front of the garment with the binding on the front and you have a super cute pop of color and there you have it obviously you can do this step with a, a sewing machine with a twin needle or a zigzag stitch I prefer to use my cover stitch. So now your binding on the neckline is on the outside and your inside looks like this. See? And you have a pop of color and another option for your willow dress. So don't be afraid to get creative. These are easy, easy hacks and modifications that will give you extra options to the pattern. I did not change any measurements. I, did, I just reversed the way I placed the binding on uh, around the neckline. I hope I've inspired you to get creative, get, go to your creative room and uh, make yourself a beautiful willow wrap dress or pap peplum that can be easily transitioned from summer into fall and then later into winter time. So, Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I'm Alex. You can find me on YouTube on my Creative Room cha uh, channel. Everything will be linked below. You can find me on Facebook everywhere. <laughs> I do so a lot and post a lot on Facebook. And um, I can't wait to get a chance to talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.